Well, I think chemotherapy in general, if you're referring to more traditional or intensive chemotherapy, still has an important role in, in AML in general, certainly in the younger patient population. Um, chemotherapy remains, induction chemotherapy remains the standard of care for most patients. And the combination of, of standard chemotherapy with uh, more targeted agents such as uh, FLT3 inhibitors or uh, perhaps gemtuzumab um, is, you know, I believe has clearly demonstrated uh, clinical benefit for patients receiving uh, those types of drugs in the appropriate setting. I think in the older age population, we're, we're seeing more of a shift uh, towards treatment, primary treatment with uh, uh, hypomethylating agents plus venetoclax, although I, I still believe that um, important subsets of patients uh, continue to benefit from induction therapy. Um, you know, uh, perhaps younger, younger, older patients who are uh, fit uh, and are transplant candidates, I feel, are still a very appropriate treatment candidates for induction therapy. And we know that, for example, with CPX351, um, that there's a potentially very effective bridge to a, uh, to a curative transplant in many of these patients. So, um, and, and in addition to the fact that uh, maintenance therapy with, with oral azacitidine um, has gained approval, uh, I think, reinforces the need to utilize induction therapy for, for many of these patients because of the, of the, be the benefit of uh, oral azacitidine maintenance therapy in, in certain patients. So I think induction chemotherapy in general still has an important role in, in AML and that it's probably not going away anytime soon and that uh, the continued efforts to combine with novel agents and targeted agents will, will make it even more effective and appropriate for, for uh, you know, uh, uh, an important subset of patients.